Sabrina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to get rid of bladder infections or prevent recurrent urinary tract infections. So first off, I'm gonna let you know what are some things that might put you at higher risk of urinary tract infection. And then I'm gonna finish off with five easy things that you can do to help prevent bladder infections. And lastly, I'm gonna demystify that myth about cranberry juice. Does it really prevent UTIs? Make sure you stay tuned until the very end to find out. So what are some medical conditions or things that can put you at higher risk for having urinary tract infections or bladder infections? So menopausal status. So women who are either near menopause or post menopausal are at higher risk of having infections. And that's because estrogen is decreased and estrogen is actually protective against having urinary tract infections. Also having certain conditions like diabetes mellitus or other immunosuppressive conditions can make you at higher risk of getting bladder infections. Certain behaviors like holding your urine for long periods of time can also put you at higher risk of having bladder infections. Also, if you have some anatomic abnormality of your urinary tract, you are also at higher risk of getting infections. Interestingly, women with recurrent UTI are significantly more likely to have a family member also with recurrent urinary tract infections. So if you have one or two family members with a history of recurrent infections, you're three times more likely than the average person to get recurrent infections. And if you've had five or more members, you're 5.5 times more likely to get a bladder infection. So you may have some of these risk factors, but I wanna let you know what is not a risk factor for infection. Number one, most importantly, hygiene is not a risk factor. Because you are getting infections, that does not mean you are dirty. So if anyone's ever told you that, it's completely false. Stop freaking out. There is nothing wrong with your hygiene that's causing you to get bladder infections. Other things that are not associated with recurrent UTIs are hot tub use, tampons, douching, wiping from front to back or back to front, what favorite color you have and what type of underwear you wear, none of those things are gonna make you at higher risk for getting a UTI. So don't worry if you are doing any of those things. So if you are someone who keeps getting a bladder infection or a urinary tract infection, make note of what kind of symptoms you're having. Very often the symptoms you're gonna see are pain with urination, having to go more often or more frequently, having some pain or pressure in the lower abdomen, and having new or worsening bladder leakage or blood in the urine. So if you're having those symptoms, make sure you get your urine checked. Specifically, if you're having more than one a year, you should get your urine checked with a urine culture. And a urine culture will help you see exactly what bacteria is causing the infection and what antibiotics that bacteria is susceptible to. And that will be helpful to any doctor you go see when they decide how to treat you for recurrent bladder infections. Okay, so now for the good stuff. What are five easy things that you can do at home to help prevent recurrent bladder infections? So number one, you can drink significantly more water. And what do I mean by that? Well, there was actually a study done where they took women with recurrent bladder infections and they randomized them to either drink whatever they were normally drinking or drinking whatever they were normally drinking plus a liter and a half additional of water. And what did they find? They reduced their incidence of infections by 46%. So just by drinking more, you can actually reduce your incidence of bladder infections. Super easy. Number two, make sure you're not using any spermicidal products. So you're not in contact with them during intercourse, you're not using lubricants with spermicide in them because those have been associated with a higher risk of getting bladder infections. Number three, if you have what's known as dysfunctional voiding, seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist to help treat that dysfunctional voiding can be really helpful. So what exactly is that? Well, if you find yourself feeling like you're straining to empty your bladder or you are feeling like you're never really emptying your bladder, you might have dysfunctional voiding. So make sure you bring that up with your urologist or your primary care doctor because that could be contributing to your infections. Number four, vaginal estrogen. So as I mentioned before, women who are postmenopausal or perimenopausal lose estrogen, and that can actually cause you to be at higher risk of getting bladder infections. And why is that? Well, estrogen acts on the epithelium or the lining of the vagina to create more lactic acid and make an acidic environment. 
And that acidic environment actually helps prevent the colonization of bacteria in the vagina and in the urethra where bladder infections occur. Also, it inhibits the binding of certain types of bacteria to the bladder wall. So there is good evidence that using vaginal estrogen cream or a suppository can help prevent recurrent bladder infections. If you are a woman who is postmenopausal or near menopause, discuss this with your doctor because it can be really beneficial in helping you. Number five, cranberry. So I know I mentioned that cranberry juice might be a myth, so I'm gonna explain that right now. Cranberry juice in and of itself, especially that ocean spray cranberry juice that you see everywhere, is not gonna help you prevent recurrent bladder infections. That's because you need a certain amount of the active ingredient in cranberry juice, which is called proanthocyanidins. And that has been shown specifically in the dosing of 36 milligrams to help prevent bladder infections. And how do you get that dose? Well, you have to look for supplements that have that specific dose, 36 milligrams of proanthocyanidins, and that are soluble. So they're made from the cranberry juice extract itself, not from the skins or the stems of the cranberry itself. So if you can find a supplement that is soluble and has 36 milligrams of proanthocyanidins, taking one a day can be as effective as taking a low dose antibiotic daily for preventing bladder infections. So is it harmful? No. Will it help you? Yeah. So why not try it? All right, that's it. I hope you like what you saw today. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos every Monday. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.